All right. We got six minutes to get through 15 minutes worth of material. No more interruptions. Looking at you, Seth, now. <laughs> who didn't turn off their phone? And also, before we get to that, whose ringer is from 1998? <laughs> Is it her phone? Was it your phone? What, was it your phone? I can't tell, you're smiling in a joyous way. This is why you guys are, it was not your phone. That's a, she's taking the fall. So it was your phone. Bring it, I will, I will, I will bring it, sir. So I got divorced. <laughs> Even with editing, that's gonna look insane. You're all gonna come across like, Ma I got divorced. <laughs> Despair fuels us here in Utah. Well, here's the thing that no one tells you about getting divorced, and it's, it's, like, it's just the, the amount of just, you just cry, just, just at the drop of a hat, like I never have before. And I, I, am, I, am, I am a straight white man who was raised in the 90s. I was never taught to cry. The women in this room, you all know how to do it. Single tear, every bad thing that's ever happened to you is told to the other person in about 45 seconds, and then you go, hmm, and then you have a pastry and you're fine. <laughs> have you seen a man around my age cry? It's awful. There's nose blowing and uh, like. <laughs> I've never seen a woman have to blow their nose mid cry. I need like eight handkerchiefs and a tarp or I'm just soaked. <laughs> And I remember one time in particular, I was walking to a grocery store and it's something just triggered memories of my relationship. I don't know if it was a pigeon. I don't know why I picked pigeon. That'd be, <laughs> what a horrible tableau of my marriage I'm painting. I saw a pigeon and I just thought, mm, dirty and outside, just like how I was when I was married. Like that's, <laughs> that's not true at all. It was just something, it just triggered me. And I just then, I started crying. And I should have gone home, I should have gone home. Cause I'm not good, miss this is gonna be an insult, but based on the way your face is structured, I bet you, you cry really nicely. I do not, I do not. Like when I cry, it's like I'm trying to warn people about an explosion that I know I can't prevent. <laughs> this is how brutal the cry was. I walked in to the grocery store and the security guard just nodded and started following me through the store. <laughs> and I'm passing people as I'm getting my items, all of them looking at me with a face that says, what is this grocery store out of? <laughs> and why do you need it so badly, sir? <laughs> Finally got to the produce section. That is my favorite section of any grocery store because that is where we're all liars. I don't care how virtuous and clean your soul is. When you are at a grocery store, you're telling some fibs to yourself. None of us know how to test the fruit, the, wow, I just had a stroke. <laughs> uh, don't worry, those of you on the left side will get the full performance. You guys, it's gonna be a bit delayed. <laughs> I think that was the greatest reaction to a stroke bit I've ever seen, sir. I have definitely not been your cup of tea. You've laughed twice and nodded once, but you went. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to tell you, that is as equivalent to a standing ovation in my heart. I just want to take this opportunity to apologize to the editors of this set. It's going to be a real hoot to piece this one together. <laughs> I can see the YouTube comments now. Was this comedian hit in the head before the show? <laughs> During, in fact. They call that the Provo kiss. Well, at 
least I'm having fun. Now listen. <laughs> so I'm in the produce section. I'm just covered in tears. Oh, you thought that bit was over? Absolutely not. <laughs> The timing of it is destroyed, so the laughs thus far will be diminished, or the laughs moving forward. Just stop trying to explain the bit, John. You got it. <laughs> so I'm just melting down in the grocery store. I'm not having a good time. I'm in the produce section. I like the produce section because that's where we all go to be liars. I, I, don't, I don't know how to tell if a melon is fresh. I think I once had a dream that someone told me that if you shake a melon and it makes a clicking noise, it is not fresh. <laughs> so I was shaking some melons, having a wonderful time. <laughs> and then I head over to the bananas. That is the only fruit that we all know how to check. You look at it and if it's green, mmm. If it's greenish yellow, give it a try. Yellow, party time and brown. Throw it away. You now just have a fruit fly welcomer in your kitchener. <laughs> so I'm by the bananas and it's still just This man just walks up and he goes, my friend, you look like you need a laugh. Would you like to hear a joke? And I, yes, I would like to hear a joke. And then he just picked up a banana and went, this banana and me are both from Guatemala. <laughs> And then he peeled the banana, ate it, and walked out of the grocery store. <laughs> that is the most complicated shoplifting plan I've ever heard of. All right, I'm gonna steal a banana. I need a crying man. Why don't you go for the cash register? I have a plan, don't question it. One last uh, thing about my divorce. Uh, people do say, you got divorced. Do you, do you regret getting married? Do you regret having a wedding? Do you regret going through all those things? No, I do not. It, it, it was a very hopeful experience. We tried something and we failed. There's nothing wrong with falling down. And I enjoyed being married. I did not enjoy having a wedding. That's a, that's a day of lies. I'm sorry. Marriage is amazing. It is a bonding between two souls. The wedding day, what? No. That's, they say things like, that's the happiest day of your life. I don't know if any of you have ever bought dinner for your parents' friends. <laughs> that's not really on my bucket list. <laughs> and maybe it's just because I've had a crazy life. My wedding day, even with the divorce, is the second best day of my life. The first best day? Well, I once was on a bus and a homeless man farted so loud, it knocked over a child. <laughs> Seeing my girlfriend walk up the aisle of a church will not make me that happy. <laughs> maybe if she burps and it knocks over the priest, maybe. I really enjoy performing for you guys as a crowd because in every premise, this is, your energy goes from like, we like you to like, where's this going? Where's this going, John? <laughs> we trust you, but you've taken us on some turns. <laughs> Most comedians want laughter and applause. I want one woman to cough so intensely. Everyone after a year of COVID just went, what was that? Kill them. <laughs> Have you guys sneezed in public recently? It's the most rebellious thing you can do. <laughs> oh, I love Hachu. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I was recently near some wool. <laughs> <laughs>